It's me! Behind the pick and place machine. Let me just put this down so I don't hit myself in the face. So, Sam is alive in real life. I have eight racks installed. I have them mostly populated. I've got some more reels here that need to go on. I've got reels over on my shelf that still need to go on. And I have more reels coming from a supplier to be here uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. So I'm in the middle of 3D printing and making more racks. I've 3D printed two of them. I've got two more to 3D print and four PCBs to make. And then I'll have a total of 12 eight millimeter racks that I can put all of my eight millimeter reels inside, which is very cool. But these eight are working and they're working great. Now, I'm in the garage. You might hear that there's a bit of a buzzing sound in here that's coming from my server rack. Not a lot I can do about that. I've looked at uh, reducing the noise from the fans, but they are what they are, unfortunately. Right now, the multi-directional microphone is sitting next to the server rack. Now, ideally, that'll be sitting up in the center of the roof or somewhere more central. It's got about a five or six meter range. But even sitting next to the server rack, it's working very, very well. Now, one thing I have changed since the last time I showed Sam working on video was how the wake word gets processed. In the past, Sam was listening all the time and sending data to Google all the time to find out whether the wake word was triggered and also to process my voice. I've moved the wake word over to Pocket Sphinx, which is a local version of voice recognition. It's not very good, it's not very fast, it has very different types of characteristics when it comes to uh, the volume and the type and quality of the audio that it's trying to process. But it's working fairly well. So when Sam's not awake, there's nothing going to the internet and Sam is using Pocket Sphinx for the wake up word and then once processing, Sam will go off the internet and listen to everything I'm saying until I say goodbye Sam and he'll stop again. Occasionally, Sam doesn't understand the wake up word because Pocket Sphinx isn't, well, I haven't managed to get it very reliable. Probably eight times out of 10, it works perfectly. And those other two times, I might need to have to say it twice. It's usually because I'm talking too softly. So I'm going to give you a demo. I've made a few changes. Uh, you'll hear when Sam starts talking. One of the main changes is that now when Sam flashes particular slots, whether they're empty or not, Sam actually tells me how many. So in the past, I'd ask Sam to locate uh, 0402 100K resistors and it would flash them. Now Sam will actually say, you have this many reels, which is also good, so I don't have to sit there and count all the flashing lights. Anyway, demo time, and then I'll tell you a bit more about it. Okay. Hey Sam. Hello, Sam. Locate empty. Flashing 17 empty slots. Locate 0402 100k. You have three reels on 0402 100k. Locate 0805. You have ten reels on 0805. Locate 0603. 10 microfarad capacitor. You have 5 reels of 0603 10 microfarad capacitor. Locate MOSFET. You have 3 reels of MOSFET. Locate diode. You have 3 reels of diode. Locate 2.2K. You have 5 reels of 2.2K. Locate 0402 100 nanofarad. You have one reel of 0402 100 nanofarad. I better order some more. That was unexpected. Make a... Goodbye, Sam. Bye, Sidon. So as you can see, I can't really talk inside the garage when Sam's listening because he's going to respond. And most of the time, if it's not a locate command or uh, a command to tell the racks to do something, Sam's just going to respond with, I don't know what you're talking about. That's okay. I can actually have a conversation with Sam. I've got a whole bunch of code that I've written that uh, allows me to have weird conversations if I feel like it, but that's for another time. Now, I've added the functionality where Sam can tell all of the real racks to update their code. I have shown snippets of that before. So what that means is I never have to take these real racks out of the shelf anymore. 
if I want to do a software update, all I need to do is put the newest code on the server and tell Sam to tell the racks to update and they'll all download the latest code. They'll all back themselves up before they put down the new code. They put down the new code, they'll verify it and then they'll restart themselves. I can also tell Sam just to tell the racks to restart and I can also tell them to save their current... Goodbye Sam. Goodbye Sam. Goodbye Sam. So I can't say that word anymore. <laughs> That's okay. The racks can also save their local state. Now what that means is they don't know what is inside each slot, but they do know whether the slot's supposed to be occupied or not. So that way I can insert a new reel and it'll understand whether there's supposed to be a reel there or not and it'll give me a visual feedback that I've inserted a reel as well as that thing realizing that a reel was inserted and asking for the contents. I also don't have to wake Sam up if I just want to insert or pull a reel out, just the action of changing the state of one of the racks will automatically wake him up. And so I don't have to do the whole wake word. I can just go and grab a reel, put it into a slot. New reel, content sleeves. Cancel. Please remove the reel if you haven't already. Goodbye, Sam. Bye, Sam. Okay, we <laughs> can keep talking now. So, he doesn't have to be awake for me to alter the state of the reels. I've still got the ability to move reels around. I can just take one out, put it to a new position, and I'll be asked if it's a new reel I've inserted or if I've moved the one I just took out, I can take a reel out, put a different reel in and I'll be asked if I replace the reel or if I'm adding a new one or if I want to delete that particular slot starter. It's quite comprehensive. I still have to do a lot more work with the stock inventory system that I've been working on that I showed on my previous video, but that's actually getting better. I've got uh, probably two thirds of my products now in the system and inventoried, it'd be nice to be able to extend that further to uh, ad hoc items. So I'm going to keep working on that. And I still have some ideas for other types of storage facilities, non real based or rack ones that can work with SAM. But right now I don't have a specific need to have those operating with him. So I haven't actually looked at taking those further yet. When I have some free time, I will. But I'm pretty wrapped with this. It's working exactly like I wanted it to, and the accuracy level of it is well beyond what I thought it would be. So uh, I'm pretty chuffed. Okay, that's it. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and click the alarm bell to be notified when I've got new videos coming out. It really makes a big difference to the channel. Okay, thank you everyone, and I'll catch you later. Bye.